Hi, and welcome to Java Programming Skills using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre. Let's get started. Our focus here is going to be on CLI, the command line interface. I want to show some commands we can use related to Java and related to Linux. So let's get started. So here I am in our standard uh, startup project where we have the Hello World. I actually want to focus on the uh, the console. So CLI is command line interface. And right now if I do an ls, well first, if I do a uname, notice we are running on a Linux system. So that's good to know a lot of your software that's written will run on Linux. And so um, it could very well be that particularly in the cloud, when you're using cloud-based systems, it could very well be Linux systems. The ls command lists the files that are in your directory and of course we see there are two files here the main.java which is our source file and main.class which is the executable file from the Java virtual machine. Now let's do this let's do some things from the command line let's do a rm on main.class now rm stands for remove so we've actually removed that and right now when I do an ls I see that sure enough I just have main.java there's a command called cat, which stands for concatenate, and I can concatenate out my source code. So here we're seeing on the screen the class main and, uh, of course, the, the hello world code that's in there. There's a command called cl uh, or clear, and that will clear your screen. So again, I've cleared my screen. I have an ls. I have one file there. It's sometimes good to know that from the command line, you can run the Java compiler on main.java and it will pull up the Java compiler, it will compile your code and the output will be that main.class. It's also good to know you can run the Java virtual machine so just say Java which is the Java virtual machine uh, on main and it will execute that class for us. So these are good skills to know from a, a command line perspective the um, the if we type uh, Java and press the tab key two times by pressing the tab key two times it'll show us the different Java uh, basically the different commands that start with with Java and of course we've used Java for the virtual machine we've used Java C for the compiler a Java doc I'm going to ignore right now it actually has to do with generating documentation from your code but Java P I'm going to say Java P on main uh, dot class. And Java P actually goes into this binary file, this executable file that has what's called Java bytecode. It goes in here and basically looks at what's inside of it. Now what's interesting, this is the, the bytecode, the Java bytecode. But this command Java P goes inside of it and says, well, I see that you've got a main. Uh, here you, you've got the, the main class, and it has a method called main. So this allows you to look inside a class where you have the Java bytecode and actually see what's inside of it. We'll talk about that later in more detail, but just wanted to introduce uh, uh, a command you'll, you'll sometimes use. But, uh, but certainly the big ones are the Java C for the compiler and Java for running from a virtual machine. And you could ask yourself, well, how come we're doing it here when we could just as easily click on run and run it? Most of the times we will indeed click on run and run our code from there. But in a production environment, you might want to have uh, scripts that run and do some of this manually in a certain order and uh, pull projects from different places. So that's one reason it's good to know some of these command line skills. It turns out there are many, many more command line skills that you can use on a Linux system. But for right now, this will get us started for what we need. So thanks again for making it this far. Still more to come in the next video. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.